one of the motion sensors that I will be installing around is this uh, the Fibaro system uh, motion sensor um, it's um, a multi uh, sensor it senses uh, temperature which uh, allows to uh, optimize the temperature uh, depending on occupancy of a room it detects light and it says in the manual that it can also detect uh, vibration so uh, it looks like a nice little device when we take a look at the um, one sensor that I have from uh, Insteon we'll see that uh, this one looks a little bit prettier so I'm just gonna set it up and then uh, we'll see how it works the way uh, to set it up according to the um, uh, instruction manual is to turn this clockwise it has a little button inside we have to press it three times it will um, blink blue and in that moment you tell your smart things hub app to uh, find new devices and that's where this sensor should be included so uh, I'm gonna go through that process and then um, I'll come back later to uh, proceed with the installation and see what we can do with it. So this is how the sensor looks once it is installed. Here's the sensor itself. Looks pretty nice, pretty stylish. I really like the shape of it. Uh, oh, that's how it uh, flashes when it detects the motion. Um, according to the instruction uh, manual, uh, depending on the temperature it's sensing, uh, the light uh, of the sensor changes as well. So far, I've only seen it uh, flash in blue and green. Um, I think as the temperature rises, it starts flashing uh, yellow and red. Uh, and also, it flashes uh, like just like it uh, did in uh, blue, white and red when uh, it detects vibration uh, with its accelerometer. And that's um, for um, earthquake detection and uh, also to warn that it's been tampered with uh, in case somebody tries to remove it once it is, it is installed. So um, it comes with the base. The base can be installed uh, um, with uh, a little uh, adhesive uh, sticker or it also comes with a screw. Uh, I prefer the sticker and it holds the sensor pretty nicely. So once the base is installed, the sensor snaps into the base quite nicely and then you can adjust the range um, the aim of the sensor so that's how the sensor looks in my ceiling they recommend to install uh, the sensor in the corner of a room or uh, perpendicular to where the door is located or the entrance where you want to uh, capture uh, the motion so uh, I chose to install it in an angle, so it looks like that. And uh, the purpose of this project will be to control the light here in this closet with uh, that uh, Wemo switch. So the idea is that when I enter the room, the sensor picks up the motion and turns on this Wemo switch and the light will turn now on. I'm gonna show in the SmartThings app how to uh, set up the sensor and then uh, we'll go ahead and create a routine for uh, turning on our light in the closet with uh, the sensing of motion from the Fibaro motion sensor. We open our app and then we're gonna go to Marketplace and then we're gonna go to, well you can do it two ways, uh, one just connect new device or you can go here to safety and security and then we're gonna pick up uh, motion sensors and then we're gonna go with Fibaro and then Fibaro motion sensor and then here it is and then you just select uh, connect now and if you don't have um, any motion sensors discovered it should come up here and uh, install in my case it's already installed so it's not gonna show up I already added it but this is just uh, all that you have to do and uh, it will pick it up. Um, I have to say something. Um, I just got my sensor and it appears to be that this is a new version of a um, sensor. It's apparently what it's called version 3.2. Uh, and um, 
the difference between this sensor i mean physically it looks the same it's just uh the internals of it um the, the firmware um this one is supposed to be set wave plus and the previous versions of the fever sensor were not set wave plus and uh, smart things hub is looking at these as two different uh, devices even though it appears to be the same so I had a, a problems uh, setting this up uh, initially. I had to contact um, uh, support service from uh, uh, Samsung and they were very helpful. And I think uh, right now this is an addressed uh, issue, hopefully, as of uh, April 1st, 2016. Hopefully this is uh, permanently fixed. Um, I was picking it up as uh, an open close sensor and um, it uh, after setting it up it wouldn't let me uh, detect motion so it was not working properly and uh, it uh, it required some support from Samsung so that it um, could be modified and uh, um, uh, set up properly hopefully um, if you install this in the future uh, the issue will not be there anymore but if it happens just know that that um, it's a newer kind of sensor and uh, you, you you probably will need uh, some support from Samsung. What you can do, uh, what I did, I didn't, I didn't have my hopes high that it would work. But if you go on that uh, support um, article and if it's during the week, it will appear here a little window that says um, chat. So if you go there and uh, they will come up and uh, you uh, tell them that you're trying to set up your sensor and it's not working, they will help you and then they will make it work for you. It's uh, really helpful and I was really surprised of the how well that uh, little uh, support uh, uh, chat worked. So once it's discovered, you go to things, you look for it. It's here. I called it motion in closet. So uh, it's right there. So after that, you just go back to rooms and then you choose a room where you want to include your uh, sensor. So I go here to house and I included it here. And then if you click on it, this is how it looks. Right now it's green. It means there is no um, uh, motion detected. It shows the battery. It shows the temperature in the area where the sensor is. And it also shows uh, the grade of uh, luminescence. So later on, if you want to create routines, you can base them on temperature or you can base them on luminescence or you can base them on motion. It's a very nice sensor. Uh, you have quite a few things to pick up from to create your routines. And um, now we're gonna go and see how we create uh, a routine for turning on our light. So the way we do that is um, through here, through routines. I have my hue lights included in my SmartThings um, system. So when you do that, it lets you install uh, what is called the Smart App. And um, uh, every time you install something new, you, you have different Smart Apps to choose from. And when I installed the lights, it came up with this um, Smart Lighting uh, App. So if you go into there, you say uh, New Lighting Automation and then you you go through the process and like here for example i created one that is called uh, motion in closet so in here you uh, can create um, new automation uh, uh, routines so here for lights um, i go to new lighting automation and then it asks you what you want to do and then you uh, select um, what uh, lights you want to turn on so I go and select my uh, closet light uh, here for some reason um, it's uh, showing uh, my Wemo switch offline but um, believe it or not uh, if when you include it in the routine it actually works so I don't know why it shows offline but never mind um, right now it asks you what you want to do so uh, you go here and you say turn on uh, that will turn on your light and then um, you say uh, it's very easy to follow uh, how to create the routine i really like it it's very intuitive and then you go here and you select motion you click done 
and then it asks you which motion sensor in case you have more than one you select uh, motion in closet is the only motion sensor that I have in my system so I picked that one and then here now uh, you have this option turn off after the motion stops so after the motion is detected it lets you uh, uh, choose how many minutes you want it to, uh, to um, uh, turn the light off after the motion has been detected so I just picked 10 minutes and then um, here you have additional options uh, which uh, lets you choose if you want to do it only on certain times of the day or um, in certain times of the week so uh, here actually I did um, so that the light is not turning on and off uh, if it pick up, picks up motion during the daytime so I go here and then uh, you can choose your specific times um, here I chose a specific time and um, I selected uh, just do this from sun starting at sunset and end at um, sunrise so this way the light will just turn on if it's during the night and during the day even though motion is picked up um, it will not do anything so uh, uh, after that you are uh, you select sunset to sunrise and then um, you are pretty much done so here it asks you to uh, choose uh, your name and uh, then after that you hit done and you should be all set for your light to turn on automatically upon motion detection um, in your room so all we need to do now is wait until it's uh, sunset and uh, then we'll test our light to see if it works with uh, the motion sensor that we just installed. Let's see what time that is going to be. Alexa, what time is sunset tonight? Sunset is at 7.58 p.m. Okay, so we'll come back later and see how that works. So we're now going to test uh, if our light that we uh, programmed with our motion sensor works. So I'm going to walk into the closet. It's dark. Motion was picked up. The Wemo switch was uh, activated and the light came on. Now 10 minutes afterwards, uh, the light will turn off by itself again. And like uh, you can see the sensor keeps detecting motion so in general it's um, I think how the everything works it's very easy to program the sensor works great and um, the routine is very easy to program so this is it this is the Fibaro motion sensor and uh, I will talk a little bit later in another video about uh, the motion sensor from Insteon um, how it's a little bit different and it doesn't look uh, as good as the uh, uh, Fibaro but it's also very effective and uh, it's cheaper so uh, I like it too so the price is a little bit higher than the one from uh, Samsung SmartThings or uh, from Instant but aesthetically I really like how the Fibaro looks and the look of the cat's eye is really cool